What's up, everybody? So, if you guys like doing do-it-yourself projects, fishing lures and stuff like that, uh, this is one of them that I want to catch on video. I already did two jigs. Um, show you guys what I use, how I do it, and how it turns out. So this is the jigs you buy from Walmart. I do not like the hooks like this on the bottom. So I go ahead and cut the rings off. They're welded, welded rings. I cut them off and I throw them on the top on a swivel. Why a swivel? I'll show you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. All right, supplies you'll need is, of course, the jigs that you buy. Your choice of hooks, what size hooks you have for this project. Like that. I'm using this. Octopus Circle size 5. Um, the first two jigs I did, these ones, I used a smaller hook. Um, the Mustads size 3's. These are 3 ounce? Yeah, 3 ounce jigs. A little bit bigger than the ones I originally did. These are 2 ounce. So because they're bigger, I'm gonna go bigger on the hooks. First things first, I got three of these to do, so what you'll need is like cutters, pliers, I got pliers in this case, and channel locks. This is what I'm gonna use. What I do first is, because I can't snip this welded ring off, what I do is I bend them. I bend them till they fail, basically. Like this. Smash them down. Like that. Failed right there. Grab my pliers. Hold the Hold the ring with the channel locks on one side. Trying to open up that circle that you just broke. Sorry if you can't see right now. There you go. Spread that ring open. Slide it off the jig. Boom, you have a blank. Well, it's not really blank, but no need for this welded ring. You can throw that away. Your treble hook comes right off your left. You're left with that right there. That's what you want to start off with. So now, remember I said I use a swivel? People use um, cordage and shrink wrap to their for their assist hook. In this case, I tried um, using swivels. Works just as well. It's probably a million times stronger and it comes out like this. What I did was I used these must-head hooks, put them um, opposite so that it's facing both sides. Like, hold on. Like this. Like that. So whatever side the the fish bites it's gonna hook no matter what well let me get a good there you go boom it's gonna be swinging open swinging 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 left to right it's gonna be hooked up and because if it's because it's on a swivel unlike the cordage you'd you're, you'd normally use for your assist hooks um, it's much stronger and it swivels around your hook will have more play um, won't get binded up as it would with your 
cordage. And if you want, you can switch out the hooks whatever size you want. Multiple use for this barrel swivel setup. So right now I'm going to take my swivels that I bought. Where did I put them? I'm going to be putting bigger hooks and swivels on this setup. If I can find it. Here you go. Now these barrel swivels were only 72 cents at Walmart. All this was bought at Walmart. But I'm going to duke it out. And um, yeah, this is a size 5 swivel. Go ahead, take one out. Get your pliers ready. The pliers I use is meant to uh, use it on the, the ring so you can open up the ring. You see the little part right there? Got this at Tokonaga's, maybe like four or five bucks. Real handy, sharp, and you have crimpers. But in this case, I'm going to be opening up the ring. Open up the ring. Got Not the part that you open up on the barrel swivel, but the closed end. Feed it onto this ring. Like that. Boom. Just like this. That's what you're looking for. Just like that. My size 5 uh, hooks I'm going to use. It's much bigger than the ones I use on a 2 ounce. Oh, actually, this is the 2 ounce. This is the. Three ounce. Oh, what is this? Yeah, that is the three ounce. This is the two ounce. Hold on. Use this one. The two ounce. And the hook I use on the two ounce. The must add compared to the gamakatsu, much bigger in size. I don't know if you can see that. Much bigger in size. A little bit bigger. 3O compared to a 5O. So simple. Take that. Open up the swivel. Put your hook on there. And what I do, you can put one hook or you can put two hooks. If you want to put two hooks, make sure you put them on the swivel opposite as the first hook. That way it looks like this. Put your hook back to back. Like I said how it catches on the left or the right of the jig. It's gonna look pretty sick too. It's gonna be like that. Boom. See that? Yeah you do. So when it's on the jig, it could be on the left or the right of the jig, you're going to get hooked up. You could bite one hook, later down the line when they're fighting, 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 this other hook's going to hook up to the mouth of the fish also. Double your chance of successfully landing that fish. And with the swivel, like I said, it can turn around freely as it wants and not bind up because of the barrel swivel. And Personally, I think it's stronger. Just like that. Bingo. Let's work on another one. This is one of the first steps I want to do. Later on, I'm going to be designing them. Um, just putting some flashy flashies on top like this. Or like this. There is a few things you can buy, optional. Like I did today, I went to the craft store. Just bought some glitter glue you can you know, put them all in your jigs, make them a little bit more flashy. Um, it's totally up to you. Whatever preference you want. It's your stuff. Do it yourself. Design it yourself. So, put this inside for now. And then I have two more jigs. Another two ounce. This is another two ounce. And one more three ounce. You're going to be doing the same thing, cutting off the O's the o-rings taking the rings off along with the trebles. I'll be right back. Okay so 
This is a two ounce. This is the three ounce. This is also the three ounce. Sardine and what is this? Uh, mackerel. Sardines and mackerel. Got the hooks taken off. Very nice. Now I have nice sharp mustad hooks I can throw on some other lures. Didn't need those welded rings. Threw them out. Now, now what? Uh, yeah, let's throw some stickers on top. The reflective tape that you can put on your fishing poles. I bought the red. I feel like it's more shiny and visible underwater. And fish are attracted to red. Just like this one. So, I'm just gonna put some flashy flashies. Flashy flashies on the side of this one. You can get creative and you can make uh, I need a scissors just mark them real quick boom and boom by that one get creative cut your own Fin. This is a do-it-yourself project, so you can do whatever you want on this part, whatever design you want. It would help if I had some sharp scissors, but I don't. So this would be the fin. Let's make them any kind. Just this little accent really puts a lot to the, the lure. At the end of the day, you're just throwing lead out there and the fish will, the fish will bite just lead if you wanted to. Just a regular blank jig. But in this case, I'm just making something that entertains myself. <laughs> so, take that same cutout and use it as a template go ahead cut it out now all these extra pieces you're cutting off you can save them and use them as some additional bling for your jig if you want so hold it steady Follow your template here. This will be for the other side. Good if you had just some some nails. Um, these extra pieces like I said just throw them on wherever you know it's like give them some accent you can throw them on the tops or something totally up to you my first one so coming from a blank just like this Just a little bit of bling, big difference. Just like that. I'm gonna continue cutting out some fins for my other jig and I'll be back. Okay, so just finished putting on some stickers. Doesn't have to be pretty, like I said, you're probably gonna lose them anyway. Just want enough to make them flashy underwater. 
doesn't have to be perfect. 90% of the time you're going to lose them from, from shore jigging, especially in Hawaii where it's nice and rocky. So, I used whatever scraps I could also. And then just put it on there. Give it a little bit more flashy. Like this. This is another piece of scrap. Reflective. Just put them on here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Like that. And then um you can take your glitter glue. And I like to put the red glitter glue on the eyes because red eyes like this spread them around and other side that you see how the eyes are glittered red now compared to a regular I love red what you're gonna do just uh, hang this up let it dry it dries very quick 10 15 minutes maybe it's pretty much the last of the flashy stuff I'm gonna do Last one. Bango. How's that? So you're gonna let those dry. And you're pretty much finished. And the result will be something like this. Um, coming off, but that's all right. We need that one. That's it. Hope you guys liked the video. Try it out. Get a little crafty. And. Um, yeah, like and subscribe this video. Stay tuned for more fishing videos, some more vlogs, stuff like that. This is the lineup, guys. There you go. Have fun, do them all on your own new things this is the jigs turn them over 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 boom I like the assist set up here it's pretty sick yeah buddy like and subscribe guys 
This is the Just Jig um, design I have. This is my hoodie. This is my hoodie. Just Jig. This is the back. And the front. This one has been worn. Yes, because we love our sweaters. She bite, eh? Anyway, I'll leave a link in the bio for me where I can get my shirts. Shirts, long sleeve, short sleeve, tank tops, um, kids clothes. Check them out. Remember guys, like and subscribe. Remember. She bite, eh?